Our next challenge is on Boolean flags at working in accumulators. Um, we're given the code below and we're asked what will be printed to the console after the code is run. Um, we're given two lists and then we have some if conditions. Let's look at what these lists contains. Looks like the first one starts at negative 10 and ends at four. Um, going sequentially, just adding one integer each time. And then the second uh, starts at zero and goes to 14. So uh, we can say that this one from negative 10 to four is going to have 15 objects. Um, this is also going to have 15 objects. Um, we're saying the first thing that we wanna check if the lists are the same length um, we're going to turn, we're going to instantiate a variable um, greater than zero, gt zero, as false. Um, and then we're going to look through, iterate through our list. And um, looks like we're using a range object. And for the parameter, we're using our len function. So uh, the length of my list, my list, we see it has 15 objects in it. So this is going to, this is the same thing as the range object with the integer 15 in it. And um, I want my total from your list at the first index, the zeroth index times my list. So the first one will be negative 10 times zero. Um, that is not greater than zero and um, so greater than zero, our Boolean flag stays false. Um, this loop or this if statement is never entered. Um, and then if greater than zero or if greater than zero is true, um, then we'll print something. But again, that's not true. It's still false. We move into the next iteration. The next iteration gives us negative nine times uh, one, that'll give us negative nine. Neither of our if statements are met. That will continue until this outer loop actually reaches one. And when it does that, it will be on the, I believe the 12th iteration. So when we actually print um, on the 12th iteration, uh, your list, the uh, 12th object at index 11 um, will be one and the 12th object um, from this one will be 11. So we have one times 11. Uh, for the first time, our total will be greater than zero. We'll flip that Boolean flag to true and then we can go ahead and if it's greater than zero, um, we will print I. So uh, we're actually going to print the object. Um, it looks like that, uh, as I mentioned, it'll be the 12th iteration where i is equal to 11. Uh, and we can say that's 11 and go ahead and get the correct solution.